Like many a man in this modern world, Brian Bergen of Margaretville, New York, comes out of the house on a chilly spring morning, says goodbye to Mrs. Bergen, and goes off to work. The big difference is that instead of an office, Brian heads for the dappled stream and the cool forest. He's a game warden. Game protector is the title used in his state, and the title fits the job and Bergen. It helps account for the good nature with which these anglers, most of them his friends and fellow townsmen, greet him with their fishing licenses. As more and more Americans take to the woods for recreation, the wildlife population requires more and better protection. Part of this is enforcement of game laws. An understanding of this fact by sportsmen has created a more favorable attitude toward game wardens than in the past. Today's warden contributes as well as benefits by the new attitude. When streams are crowded and timid city folks come by, hoping to find a secluded spot where they can tangle a fly line in a tree without the embarrassment of an audience, the game protector usually will know just the place and be glad to guide them to it. Of course, the warden's not just a glorified guide. He's still on the lookout for law violations, too. And Mr. Beaver here has pulled a dandy. There seems to be a little illegal competition here between the county road department and the beaver population. It's no good pulling the dam out. It's always rebuilt. And the road is becoming a mess. It seems that man needs a little protection, too. So a live trap has been set, and here's the suspect. This fellow will be released, but back in the woods, where he can be as eager a you-know-what as he wants. But any beaver dam puts a protector on the alert. Fishing is no good here. Why did someone get their feet wet? The answer is the rich pelt of the beaver. The trapping season is short, but the temptation is present all year. An illegal trap. The detective work is simple. A good game protector has a catalog in his head of those who will break the laws and those who usually don't. Since the shoe seems to fit, why not wait? Maybe the owner of this truck has seen a skinned beaver pass this way. Hi there. Oh, no, just in there honing up my skinning knife. I mean, boning up on my game laws. Uh, boots. Oh, boots. Oh, uh, we're having a grape squeezing party in town. Uh, you know, uh, uh, bare feet. My toes are sensitive. Uh, got to go now. And, of course, he does go. Straight to the justice of the peace. They're not all that easy. Deer poachers. They shot at the farmer, too, a case of deadly assault. The bullet will be dug from the tree for ballistic study. The hide goes into cold storage as evidence. A day of fishing with his son, Bob, should be a day off. But right across from the house, something is going on. And this is where thousands of songbirds go annually. But try and tell that to anyone who loves their tabby cat. Thoughtlessness, or just pure cussedness, robs the nation of a lot of pleasure every year. Dust from a nearby quarry is polluting the stream. You can see the difference between the pure water and the impure very clearly. Man can drink this, but fish die in it. These rocks, silted up, hidden from light and oxygen, are completely bare of small life. In the still, pure part, nymphs, the principal food of the trout, abound. They are the larval stage of the mayfly, the dainty insect which man tries so hard to imitate with the bits of fur and feathers he calls flies.
40 million Americans and their children dream of sport like this when the winter snows have gone. Game protector Bergen is one of them, and to him an icy, crystal clear Catskill Mountain stream is the finest place in the world to find that sport. And no wonder. Of course, you don't have to put everyone you catch back, but after all, the pleasure is in the fishing, isn't it? We'll save this fellow for someone else to have fun with later. Protecting lives, human and animal, is a major part of Brian's work. He teaches gun safety throughout the year. In New York, a young hunter must pass the course before he can have his first deer license. Then reports arrive from the crime laboratory. There's a suspect in that poaching case. Two protectors go out on the job. After all, the farmer was fired at. Some people care more for a deer than a man's life. Game wardens are killed in line of duty every year. Naturally, there's the usual denial. Bergen asks permission to look in the suspect's car. Well, here's something, a loaded rifle. The make fits the ballistics report, and the game protectors have a charge against the man. It's against the law to have a loaded rifle in a car. Then the trunk. Someone is worrying, but you can't prove anything by a man's worry. Here, what's this? Deer hairs and bits of bone. The screws are getting tighter. The deer hide may have waited in cold storage for many weeks or months, but it has been waiting for a moment such as this. A perfect fit. Except for trial, another case is closed. The woods will be that much safer now for wildlife, for sportsmen, for nature lovers. And the man to thank is your game warden, your game protector.